It would allow families to live with their incarcerated relative. The prison is- Nigga, I'm speechless. You could smash? You could smash in that prison? Yeah, take me to Spain. <laughs> All right, let's see how good these guys have it, bro. If you've ever struggled between choosing a life of crime or becoming the next big music sensation, then Halden Prison is the perfect place for you. Located in Norway, this prison is the only prison in the entire world to come with a fully equipped recording studio. You what the They're like, hey, we know all the upcoming rappers start from jail, so let's just put a recording studio just in case anyone want to make hits. A recording studio is crazy, bro. Lessons are even offered to the prisoners. On top of all that, when prisoners aren't making their lyrical debut, they can learn other skills by taking the cooking and woodworking classes offered as well. Other activities offered at the Halden Prison are rock climbing, reading in the spacious library, playing soccer, and going to run on the jogging tracks. Once finished enjoying the activities, prisoners can retire to their individual cells, each of which are loaded with a mini fridge, flat screen televisions, toilets, and personal showers. Nigga, that's not prison. Nigga, that's heaven what are, you, what, are, what are you talking about in no way this is considered a prison in la this is considered five thousand dollars Hosting only about a hundred inmates, this minimum security Bastoy prison located on the Bastoy Island in the middle of the Oslo Fjord is and it's more than an all island. expense paid vacation retreat than a prison. And the only price you have to pay is to break a few rules. The inmates here can enjoy all sorts of attractions, such as living in small cottages as opposed to cells, sunbathing. Yo, I just remembered. This is an only number nine chat. So what do you guys think number one is? They're probably living in mansions, right? They're literally living in cottages, bro. No way is the move, bro. Bathing, fishing, horseback riding, tennis, saunas, and assist on the prison farm. However, prior to being a dream prison, Bastoy Prison was once known for being a brutal juvenile detention center. In fact, nearly a hundred years ago in 1915, a riot broke out to protest the harsh living and working conditions. The riot spiraled out of control so fast that that the Norwegian government was forced to send their army to the prison in order to help guards subdue prisoners. Unfortunately, the riot provided little to no help in changing the living and working conditions, and it continued to operate until 1970, when the prison was finally shut down, only to be reopened again in 1982 as the now luxury prison we know it as. That's crazy. That's insane. The Xincheng Prison in Beijing, China has a bit of a stricter prerequisite in order to get in. This prison only hosts fallen political leaders or high-profile personnel. Built in 1958, it was originally supposed to host war criminals. But in the mid-1990s, the prison was fully renovated into a luxurious prison in order to keep the at-the-time new but now common senior officials. Prisoners here are each given large cells with personal flat-screen televisions, writing desks, sofas, personal toilets and showers, and washing machines. Prisoners are fed personalized meals depending on their age. That's better than our school food. I ain't gonna lie, Chad. I, I really think that like the high school I went to, they served us jail food. Because if niggas is eating like this in jail. Age and severity of the crime, ranging from basic rice and vegetables to extravagant. Nigga, are those chicken wings? Yeah, bro. Let's go to China. Nah, actually, nah. A black person going to China, I already know it's going to end up bad for me. Outside the cells, not prisoners that. are not required to wear uniforms and are allowed to play games, read, exercise, and watch television. It's almost like, did you even commit a crime? You're, you're able to play games, exercise, watch television. You're just a regular person. It's basically a big timeout, chat. It's not even a prison. In southern Scotland, a privately owned prison named Her Majesty's Prison Addywell has Niggas got a Harry Potter prison, bro. While many prisons offer their inmates classes and workshops to help build job skills, none are as dedicated as Her Majesty's Prison Addywell. Inmates here are given 40 hours a week for skill building activities and classes, aimed directly at teaching their inmates job skills and readying them for a simpler transition back into civilian life. Inmates are each given minor control over what classes they want to attend. It's almost like returning back to school, which with all things considered isn't so bad. If you happen to get caught committing a non-violent crime in Loben, Austria, there's a slim chance you'll be spending your sentence in the appropriately named Justice Center. From the outside, this place will look more like a modern university than a prison. Each prisoner is given their own cell with private bathrooms, flat screen television, writing desk, and even their very own kitchenette. Outside of the cells, inmates can enjoy a wide variety of recreational activities. Hold on, they have views as a prisoner. They have scenery. <laughs> Imagine if one of these 
criminals did something to you or your family, right? They're the perpetrators. And you find out that they went to this prison. Nah, 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 nah. I'm going to the prison myself just to end the nigga. He murdered someone and he gets to end up here. Mates can enjoy a wide variety of recreational activities like weight training, basketball, reading, table tennis, and of course, computer time. Unfortunately, 205 inmates is the maximum this prison can hold. So only the lucky few get to experience it while the rest are stuck in a wreck. How did they choose the lucky people? Is it based off of crime? Old it? prison. Even though having a toddler behind bars doesn't really sound like the best idea, the Alanjuez prison in Spain is the perfect place to raise a family, provided that one or more of the parents is currently serving a sentence there. The Alanjuez prison decided that instead of causing broken homes, it would allow families to live with their incarcerated relative. The prison is- <sighs> Nigga, I'm speechless! You could smash? You could smash in that prison? Yeah, take me to Spain. <laughs> You're telling me you could smash in that prison? So dropping the soap ain't even really a thing. So as a guy, you don't even have to be scared. You could raise a family in here. It's fully stocked to take care of children, having its own nursery, play place, and even a children's psychologist. 28-year-old mother and current inmate Carmen Garcia has weighed in on the situation by saying, they take good care of us. And having my child and husband with me makes me very happy. Carmen is serving a 10-year... Oh, she's the one that sentence for murdering her boyfriend she's serving 10 years for murdering someone their family is grieving hoping the worst for this murderer just to find out she started a new family this is twisted nigga that's crazy that's crazy that's crazy Being a 10-year sentence for murdering her boyfriend the only catch is that the whole family must be present during all roll calls that means she killed her boyfriend and then she she had a husband in jail, maybe? That's weird, bro. Known as the party prison, the only thing keeping the San Antonio prison from becoming just another crazy rave party is the armed guards and barbed wire fences surrounding the fun. Pools, barbecue pits, live musicians, and even marijuana are just some of the attractions that make this penitentiary so good. Some prisoners don't want to leave. Families and overnight guests are more than encouraged to stay. Nah, you know a prison is good if you don't want to leave bro that's crazy and enjoy their time that's crazy as, as it seems we're hold on <laughs> wait, wait where is the jail located again the only thing wait, where is the jail located hold on hold on san antonio prison let me let me commit a crime in san antonio bro i mean just a oh good some prisoners don't want to leave families and overnight guests are more than encouraged to stay and enjoy their time as much fun as it seems we're not quite sure these inmates are learning their lesson <laughs> Santa Ana Jail, located in California, USA, is a pay-to-stay prison. Meaning that as long as you have the cash, you can stay in the luxurious Santa Ana Jail, rather than in a regular, less glamorous county jail. But it's not cheap. On the first day, inmates must pay a $140 administration fee and $110 for each following day in the prison. That's roughly $40,000 a year. Inmates, or guests as they're referred to by staff, are given a single private cell with regular doors are not required to wear a prison uniform and can instead wear their normal clothes and are allowed to bring their own cell phones or laptops with them. Unfortunately, Wi-Fi is not provided. No, that, that's still crazy though. Like, you can have a phone, but hey, what's the point? You don't have Wi-Fi. That's still not fair. Rich people just have so much, like, benefits. You telling me you could enjoy your time in prison? Over the last few years, crimes being committed by the elderly in Japan are becoming more and more frequent, to the point where Japan now has a specialized prison just for those age 70 and above, called Onomichi Prison. Most of the inmates here only committed minor crimes, such as shoplifting or possession of drugs. Almost all of Onomichi- that's nothing, I do that shit all the time. These elderly inmates have their own cell with personalized charts that specify the inmates' dietary restrictions and daily medication needed in order to ensure they are getting proper care. They also come with a 3.6 meter attached room with tatami mat floor, a TV, a desk, a sink, and a toilet. Their personal belongings, mainly books or comics, are kept in a locked suitcase when they are not in their cells. The Anamichi uh -huh. prison is the first of many prisons specifically for the elderly that Japan has plans for. That's not that bad, see? A prison made for old people, that's understandable. They're gonna go anyway. You might as well just give them a good, a good little time. Her Majesty's Prison Wandsworth, located in Wandsworth, England. That's a goofy-ass Harry Potter name. I'm a Harry Potter fan, by the way, if you don't know.
Brooklyn is equipped with many outlets to help prisoners pass the time away while enjoying their sentence, such as two gyms, a sports hall, a chapel that can support up to 10 different religions, and many educational and training programs focused on helping inmates make an easier transition back into civilian life and into the working world. Inmates have even banded together with the help of the prison staff to form an award-winning radio program called Radio Wano. In fact, one of the education programs offered at Her Majesty's Prison is radio production. Here's what I think about this whole thing. By all means, make jail suitable enough for people to become better. Because at the end of the day, treating criminals like shit is only going to lead to them coming out to the real world like shit. They're still going to be criminals. So you might as well just try to give them a little rehab, teach them a couple things. But nigga, you're telling me you could raise a family in jail? You're telling me there's people paying to go to these jails? It's not really a punishment. At this point, it's a business thing. You want people to commit crimes just so that you could enjoy the money. Follow me on Twitch if you have it.